And welcome back, it is I, Haskey, your host, and this is another walkthrough video to help you get back on track with games you might need help on. It's been nearly a year since our last music note guide, but not to worry, I'm going to play it off like nothing happened. Part 5, Stage 5 of our Banjo-Kazooie Complete Music Note Guide starts now. Listen real close and learn something. In our previous guide, we covered Bubble Gloop Swamp. I do hope you didn't have too much trouble collecting all of the music notes there, because, well, if you did, Freeze Easy Peak is pretty much all of the same thing, only worse. Much like the swamp water in the previous stage, there are pools and lakes in Freeze Easy Peak that you'll need to avoid in order to collect all of the music notes safely. The only difference is that instead of being attacked by piranhas, it's frostbite. I say that Freeze Easy Peak is worse because that, in addition to the cold water, there are also snowmen throughout the entire stage that throw snowballs at you. And they hurt. They're packing ice in them or something, I don't know. But you'll want to avoid them if you can. As I'm climbing over the ridiculously large mountain of presence here, I should know that this is as good a place as any to use the nearby flight pad and Kazooie's beak bomb ability to take out any of the offending snowmen nearby. But seeing as I got places to be, you won't see me doing that here. And to be honest, if you keep moving, the chances of a snowman actually landing a hit on you are rather small. But if it makes you more comfortable to clear them out, then that is exactly what you should do. As I duck, dodge, and slip in between the legs of this giant snowman here, I'd also like to point out that one of the nice things about Freeze Easy Peak is, in order to collect all the music notes, you don't have to turn into Mumbo's magic transformation this time. Uh, it was on this stage that you turned into the walrus form, but, as you'll see, it's not at all required to collect all the notes here on this level. Having said that, you'll see me do something exceedingly dumb here in just a moment, and jump in and splash around in the cold water to collect a few more notes. These notes clearly had the walrus form in mind when they were placed there, and of course, the safe way to grab them would be to use that form. Which, if you didn't know, the, the walrus form can move through the water without taking damage. But, as always, I'm trying to make a quick and to-the-point video, so I take this shortcut and a bunch of damage along with it. Whether or not you take said shortcut here, like I did, is up to you. Just, just don't get yourself killed. So here we are, super low on health. Not my fault, clearly. Obviously a balance issue, but moving forward you'll see me take a slight detour off to the side here, just for a quick second to get my health back up so I can take a second plunge into the water to reach Mumbo's hut. Again, I'm not going to Mumbo to receive a transformation, but there are notes inside the hut itself, so we'll need to dip inside anyway. Here you'll see me use gold feathers to break open these ice guys and recover all of my health. Don't forget that you can do that. Always keep in mind that if you run into a spot where it's too dangerous to fight in order to recover your health, just use gold feathers and run right through them. Gold feathers. No mess, no stress. That's one of my old sayings that I had just made up. So yes, it is with great pleasure that I say to Mumbo, Not today, voodoo man. These tokens stay with me. And we hop up here to grab a stash of notes before moving on to the final stretch of Freeze Easy Peak. So, believe it or not, even though we are only sitting at 73 notes, the rest of them are all on the giant snowman in the center of the level. Uh, a large chunk of the notes on this stage are on the yellow sections of his scarf, as you'll soon see, and after that, just one last handful on top of his hat. So as we begin the final climb here, I would like to thank you for joining me during this guide today. As far as difficulty goes, I think Freeze Easy Peak is somewhere in the middle. The placement of the notes themselves is pretty straightforward, with a big chunk of them all being here together on this snowman. Other than that though, there are only two indoor rooms that have notes inside. Those being Mumbo's Hut and the Christmas Tree that we saw previously. I didn't mention during the clip, but neither the igloo at the start of the level or the big walrus cave have notes inside them, so you can completely ignore those two locations while collecting music notes. The snowman enemies constantly throwing snowballs at you can of course be a bit of a handful, but if you keep moving they'll have a really hard time hitting you. 
Having said that, if you do struggle with them, just take a second to clear them out using a flight pad. They don't ever respawn until you leave the stage, and you'll feel a lot less pressure. So there it is, all 100 notes on Freeze Easy Peak. This one always seems to surprise me with how fast it goes, I hope you feel the same. I do sincerely hope this guide helped you out on your journey to collect all of the music notes in Banjo-Kazooie, and if you came here after running around the level looking for those last couple of notes, please leave a comment. I'm curious and would love to know which ones had you hung up. I'd like to apologize to my viewers for taking so long to get back onto this guide. I realize that there are countless walkthroughs for this kind of thing online, but it, it, it still bothers me that I left something on my channel half done for so long, so here we are. Uh, moving forward though, if you are struggling with music notes on any other level of Banjo-Kazooie, consider doing a search on my channel for the other parts of this series, and if you enjoy this kind of content, consider subscribing for more tips, tricks, walkthroughs, and let's plays. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.